guys, come on. From high profile bankruptcies guys, guys, guys. to power grid chaos and potentially new federal regulations, the cryptocurrency realm is a tricky place to navigate these days. We are currently inside. Back in 2022, we took you to Riot Platforms just outside of Austin. It's the most power intensive Bitcoin mine in America. Business was booming. Fast forward to 2023. Has the digital gold rush gone bust? It's actually the opposite. It's good for Texas. I mean, all growth is good for Texas. We're a fast growing state. It's a long way from bust. That's Brad Jones. He's the former interim chief executive officer of ERCOT. These big corners are like wildcatters. The original folks that came to Texas brought a new technology and a new set of resources to Texas. And the first ones that came in risked everything. It's the fight of our generation. At the state capitol, the Digital Freedom Rally gathered to talk about the importance of Bitcoin mining. The digital asset industry is bringing jobs, entrepreneurs, investment capital into Texas like never before. Lee Bratcher is the president of the Texas Blockchain Council. All things crypto in the state of Texas go through him. We expect that Texas will be for the digital asset industry what California and the Valley was for uh, the microchip industry. So this could be a boon to our economy, specifically when we're talking about Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin is a form of digital currency, free of any middlemen like a bank or a government. Often users keep their assets in something called a digital wallet. This is how users can buy, send and receive. Keep in mind that Bitcoin itself really doesn't have any intrinsic value. It's only what the next fool is going to pay. And you need a bunch of fools involved in this market to give any kind of value to a Bitcoin. Ed Hers is an energy expert with the University of Houston. He's what some might call a crypto critic. Cryptocurrencies, in particular Bitcoin, have been used and almost exclusively by the underworld. It is the easiest way to transfer money, if you will, from San Antonio or Houston to the cartels. But the problems with fraud, even dramatic dips in prices, hasn't dimmed enthusiasm for some. Gabriel and Thomas are members of the San Antonio Bitcoin Club. Money is, is the focus, but above that, I think, to me, Bitcoin is hope. You know, everybody's after the fast gains. Everybody wants to get rich quick. But the thing with Bitcoin is that it takes time. Everything takes time if you want to build, you know, true generational wealth. Both say they're investing for the long term. Well, if you look at Bitcoin, what it's doing in the world right now, you have countries adopting it. You have Elon Musk taking it for Tesla's. You have uh, businesses using it now as uh, extra revenue. Across the state, Texas has 10 Bitcoin mines. All of them are connected to the power grid. They're putting a strain on the grid today. Adding crypto miners as a supposed you know, benefit to the Texas grid is just complete nonsense. While many don't believe the industry has gone bust, one thing remains the same. The topic of cryptocurrency is polarizing. We've seen China throw out all cryptocurrency mining. China has thrown it out and Texas has embraced it. This makes absolutely no sense at all. So what I would say to the average Texan is, uh, this is a volatile asset, so um, I wouldn't invest a large percentage of my portfolio. But what I would say is uh, you need to get off zero. I would hope that at some point the leaders in Austin would come to their senses and do what they can to ban cryptocurrency mining. It's you know worse than rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic.